Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing number one from the 2024 Calc A, B, and B, C exams. Let's take a look at the problem. Um, temperature of coffee in a cup at time t, min t minutes is modeled by a decreasing differentiable function C, where C of t is measured in degrees Celsius. Between 0 and 12, selected values of C of t are given in the table shown. A, approximate C prime of 5 using the average rate of change of C over the interval from 3 to 7. It's interesting that they're giving you those bounds now. They didn't used to do that. They would just say approximate C prime of 5. Show the work that leads to your answer, include units of measure. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say C prime of five is approximately equal to, and then they told us what to do. So we're gonna have uh, C of seven minus C of three over seven minus three. Now we're gonna go to the table and find those values. So C of seven, um, you can see is 69. So 69 minus C of three is 85, um, and then divided by four. And then this is actually a calculator question. So if you want, you could just use a calculator on this. You can also leave this the way that it is, which is probably the best move. Um, but I, of course, use the calculator. So I got equals negative four and then our units. So it's the units of C, which are degrees Celsius, divided by the units of T, which are minutes. So it's going to be degrees Celsius per minute. And that's part A. Right. B says use a left Riemann sum with three subintervals indicated by the data in the table to approximate the value of the integral from 0 to 12 C of T dt. Then we have to interpret the meaning of 1 over 12, the integral from 0 to 12 C of T dt in the context of the problem. So anytime you see something like 1 over 12, the integral is 0 to 12, that's going to be the average value of that function. So the function is temperature of coffee in a cup. Um, so it's going to be the average temperature of the coffee in the cup. Like that's going to be our context, but we'll get to that. Let's first do this uh, left Riemann sum for. So we're going to start off by writing the integral and it's approximately equal to. So the integral from zero to 12, C of T dt approximately equal to left Riemann sum. So uh, from zero to three is three. And then the left end point is 100. And then plus from three to seven is four. And the left end point is 85. So times 85. And then from 7 to 12 is 5. And then the left end point is at 69. And we could actually leave that, um, but it's calculator, so I'm going to do it. But also, you should definitely leave it. Um, so I got 985. Um, the risk of simplifying that is like the, the expression that I had written before was correct. And if I simplified incorrectly, I lose the point. So you don't want to simplify if you don't need to. But I have chosen to. It's a risk. Um, now what we need to do is interpret the meaning of this thing. So, uh, the integral from, I'm sorry, one twelfth the integral from zero to 12 C of T dt is definitely the average, um, value of C of T. So that's going to be the average temperature of coffee in the cup. Um, so let's, let's write that. Um, so this integral is the average temperature. Now, what are the units of the average temperature? They're just the units of C of T. So in degrees Celsius, um, of the coffee in the cup. And so we'll just say that on the time interval from t equals zero to t equals 12. And then we want to say minutes. So on the time interval from t equals zero to t equals 12 minutes. Now there's also a possibility that they wanted you to actually do this would be inconsistent with the notion that you don't need to simplify that um, expression above. But if they did, I kind of just wrote this up just in case, you know, if I had a lot of time to work through the problem, I'd probably do this. Um, the average temperature of the coffee in the cup is 82.083 degrees Celsius on the time interval from 0 to 12 minutes. So that's part B of this question. Let's take a look at part C. Okay, part C says for 12 to 20, the rate of change of the temperature of the coffee is modeled by C prime of T, which is negative 24.55 E to the 0 0.01 T over T, where C prime is measured in degrees Celsius per minute. Find the temperature of the coffee at t equals 20. Show the setup for your calculation. So it occurs to me now, I didn't copy the table, but I need to know what the temperature is at 20. So here's our table, uh, at 12 rather. Um, we can see that at 12, the temperature is 55. So we're going to use that in our calculation. So I'm going to write down what I'm doing. So uh, the temperature at 20 is going to be the temperature at 12, like your starting point, plus whatever the displacement in temperature is between 12 and 20. So that's gonna be plus the integral from 12 to 20 of C prime of T dt. This is clearly a calculator question because I don't know how you're integrating that thing. Um, so I just went to the calculator. I typed it in like this. You can see what I did. Um, hopefully I typed that incorrectly and I got 
approximately three decimal places, 40.329, and that would be degrees Celsius. Kind of makes sense because we're supposed to be decreasing all the time, so I think that's a good answer. Let's take a look at part D of this thing. Okay, so part D says, for the model defined in part C, it can be shown that C double prime is this thing. They're giving this to you because not every calculator can find a derivative, so they want it to be fair. Um, for 12 to 20, determine whether the temperature of the coffee is changing at a decreasing rate or at an increasing rate. Give a reason for your answer. So we wanna know if the rate, we wanna know if C prime is increasing or decreasing. So I'm gonna look at a graph of C double prime, just see what's going on. Uh, I had to play around with it. Like I changed my window from 12 to 20. It was pretty clearly above the axis, um, but I still changed my Y values from negative one to one just to see it a little bit better. Uh, you can see 0.2455 e to the, e to the 0.01 X, 100 minus X over X squared. You have to use X when you're graphing, at least on the TI Inspire, or it will not graph for you. Um, and we can see that C double prime is greater than zero. So we're gonna say um, between 12 and 20, C double prime of T is greater than zero. That means that uh, the temperature is changing at an increasing rate, right? The rate of change of the temperature is increasing. So um, the temperature of the coffee is changing at an increasing rate. And I think that that's all we need to do on that part. Um, and that's all of question number one. So I hope this was helpful and good luck.